Hi, this is Connie Cleveland with my 10-week-old Border Terrier puppy, Pan. And a couple of packages came in the mail today, and I just couldn't resist. You know, what fun can you have with a box? And so we turned it into a tunnel, which he was pretty darn comfortable doing very quickly. The second box that came was the perfect size for him to sit in, and he's been working on targets that he can sit on, so I thought it would be fun yes. to see if I could get him to get all four feet in the box. Okay, Keep in mind that this is an example of indirect path to reward. I want him to learn to move away from the treat in order to earn the treat. And so I'd like to be able to just point to the box and have him go and get in it. Although, whoops, my marker was a little early. He only had three feet in the box. Pan and I have been working a lot on his retrieving. So the next day, I decided to more formally introduce the dumbbell. Also using my reward marker, trying to mark the moment nice. the dumbbell was in his mouth. Keep in mind that the reward marker is a terminating signal, nice. so when I say nice, he is by rights finished with the task and can spit it out. I actually nice. decided I wanted him to reach for the dumbbell, and so instead of holding it up, I held it a little bit out in front of him. Nice. and then marked when he reached for it and had it in nice. his mouth. I also used my hand under his chin to shape a little bit of a hold, and that seemed to work out pretty nice. well for me today. I finished the training session by bringing back the boxes that I had introduced him to the day before, and he went right back to the behaviors that produced reward nice. in his first experience. I am raising this puppy for a family member, and she has expressed an interest in nice. a lot of different dog activities. So if she decides to get involved in agility, it certainly can't nice. hurt to have shown him something that he can tunnel through. I typically don't put a command with a behavior until I'm fairly certain that the puppy is going to offer it. So I'm just nice. marking and paying when he goes through the tunnel, as opposed to giving him a command to do so. I have a couple of uses for this box in mind. I, I think it offers him a really easy standard to get in and know nice. when he's completed the task. I think I might be able to use it as a front guide. Uh, finally, before I stop today, I just decided to put the two boxes in sequence and see whether he would offer me first one behavior and then the second. You know, having fun with your puppy and exploring things is just exposure and socialization. And today was just a really fun day. I'm excited for you to see Pan's next video nice. as the retrieve and the boxes develop into more advanced skills.